artist is a person who feels and does. The thing that I'm realizing about this exhibition is like, I feel. I feel and I want to be able to express, I want to give shape and form to those feelings. Sculpture to me is like the ability to shape materials around one's feelings. And I think this show is a lot about what form should I give to these feelings or look at these forms that happened as a result of these relationships that I have. Don't they also deserve a place in a museum or a place where I am? This show is about people who I've lost and the things that they left for me or people who I love and the monument of love that I want to show for them. I'm thinking about bell hooks. I'm thinking about my dad. If I'm somewhere between mourning and production, the artist has permission to force the institution to bend toward its will. I do understand very clearly what an exhibition is. The question that I was asking myself was, well, what could I contribute that's more interesting? What else could a museum do? The more I keep it at the edge of something that's familiar, it seems the more interesting it is. Like I could call Arthur Jaffa up and say, hey, AJ, that eulogy that you read at Virgil's Memorial at the Museum of Contemporary Art, where is that? Can I get the original one? Because when AJ read that thing at the MCA, it was something special. And then I asked Christina, Robert Bird's wife, the Russian scholar, Christina, can you write a letter to Robert about how these books ended up at the new museum? And do that in whatever personhood, whatever tone you want to do that. Those are relational moves that you would want to imagine that deep relationship could allow for interesting things to happen that couldn't happen if you didn't have a deep relationship. So I have a Russian library because Robert's widow trusted me with the books. I got a bell from Bell because she asked me to come to Berea. I came to Berea. She was thinking about her legacy. And so I feel like there is something very special in the relationships that develop. I wanted to find ways to evidence that. I'm interested in getting to know a person through their things. Like Robert Byrd's archive is his archive. There's an impulse that is artful in the archivization process or reflection on history or reflection on family. But I think that there are moments when I'm just trying to put things alongside each other, like you would in your house or like you would in a shrine. So it's like, oh, let me acknowledge this brother's life that feels holy. Citation feels holy. Like, oh, artist, you influenced me. That feels like godly. It was a way of acknowledging that life is important to me.